Good morning. Hi, honey. Am I too early, or can no, I? Come? Is that okay? Uh, we got clothes. Oh, a bit of everything. <laughs> but back there, if you could look on the rack, oh, well, some sure. and pop. Thank you very much. Are you a neighbor? Uh, I live just down the road, down that way. Down the road. Yes. I call that up the road. Up the road, that, yep. <laughs> Down that down, makes down. sense. Yep, that makes sense. Does that make sense? It does. I, I grew up here. Yep. We just haven't had time. Oh, I no, I don't. Right. I don't blame you. This one goes on that middle yes. ground pebble you're Hopefully it gets a little nicer now. Another neighbor had a little pebble like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to get it cleaned up. Yes. We're going to try to go today if we can. If the rain keeps off and She's all that. Yvonne, my granddaughter. She's got a lot of electronics. Oh, yes. OCD, OCD. Yeah. Yes, yes. Beth, thank you very much. Oh. Okay, electronics. you see how it Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Like oh wow, how fun. Now there's some men's jeans up there. And then we got some men's tops and women's. Really... No, I think I've seen you talk about this morning. All that stuff. Oh, we just checked it out. Oh, so good. Every bit of how it was in the cut. Yes, I cleaned it out. Yeah, if they don't sell, I'm going to take them off. <laughs> They're not going to call it Slaughterhouse Hill. Well, that's what I call it, you know? <laughs> That wouldn't be a nice name for a, a new subdivision with Slaughterhouse Hill. <laughs> that was mine. That's right that is so fun. Yes. I've got it priced really cheap. It's a handmade. Yes, that's beautiful. Wow. Well, you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. They still work. Jeff told me lately you can turn them on. Can I help you carry anything out? Any of the boxes? You don't have to. I don't mind. Like, just grab one or two. Yeah, this is easy box right here. All right. Is over here okay? Is this is uh, board games? Yes, that's yep. where I'm headed. All right. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha. I'm going to put boxes down here and we'll go from there. Yeah, that about right there might be interesting. All right. This one. This one. Oh, yeah. look at that. I know it's Wow. Cassettes are. I think she. This is a special. Oh, you get next. Yes, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, do you have the old machine to run the. Oh, yes, cassette, cassette player. Yes, I do. <laughs> I have an old boom box. Do you really? I have a big one as well, like a big silver one. Seven, eight, nine, oh, ten exactly. <laughs> well, this is all hers. Okay. Have you added all of that? Not yet. So you said two on that. How much was the ghost story book? Uh, two. Two, so I owe you 14. Yeah, those are 50 cents. I have she, exactly she $10 worth. Okay. So, there we 
Yes, thank God, you, sweetie. Now this, you just laid here. 14. Didn't you? I just now set that down. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't think nobody. Thank you. Oh, you a dollar? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My head ain't on right yet. It doesn't have to be. It's early still. <laughs> Where are you from? England originally. Yeah. She lives off of. I do. Me. You sound so sweet. Well, thank you ever so much. <laughs> She's already been to Tamara. I, I have. have a nephew up there that was selling his uh, antique stuff. Oh really? Yeah. I'll have to swing back by because well, there was uh, only he two. He had a lot of uh, lamps, car old kerosene lamps. Oh nope, didn't see those yet. Well, it, I think he's kind of back in his garage because of the rain. Yes. Okay, yeah. this was one dollar pack. So okay. They took them out. That's a dollar, and that's a dollar, and this I had two or three, didn't? Three, three, I think. Yeah, I tried to sell it for five, and didn't have no luck. Oh. <laughs> so two. And then this one as well. Three and six. Six, Nine okay. Six. Now, do you all have some change? I or have a bunch of ones. Do you? I don't want to take all your ones. Well, honey, I have more than that. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll uh, give you $20. I'll bring $20 back to you. You can give me $20. I'm gonna bust her twin. That's what I'm gonna keep doing. And I'll bring you twenty dollars back in the house. Okay, she's giving me the twenty. And I'm giving her twenty. So well, I thought this was my stuff. She ain't paying. It you. is your We're stuff, not, yeah. She's gonna pay you in a minute. I'm gonna give you five more, and then you have six dollars total oh, from I me. I'm, I'm just busting. No, the you're twins. fine. 10, 15, I'm just busting her twenty. I really bill. appreciate that. Thank not you. And I'm gonna give you a five. <laughs> And then I oh, think Lord. we're even. I'm glad you're doing the math. I'm like her. I'm <laughs> oh, I know it. Oh, no, don't, not at all. But it was so what nice to meet you all. Thank you. Mystery, you? <laughs> we yeah. sure did. Well, you all have a lovely day. Thank you. you Thank you. Well, how are you? Freezing. Yes. <laughs> it changed quickly. Yeah. Oh. You have three dollars on the bowl. Okay. You want a bag? Um, if you have one, that yeah, would be wonderful. Yeah. There we go. Thank, Thank you, you. I appreciate it very much. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. You have a wonderful one. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So I have two different things here. However, um, I have two sales that were definitely recorded and one that unfortunately was not so uh, bear with me by this point you would have seen the footage from these two sales um so i'll show you what i got there first and then if you want to stick around i have a quick haul here from a church rummage sale i just at that point had no battery left in my camera and i take three batteries with me when i go out so it had been that much of an eventful morning um but i still managed to score really big on some really cool stuff especially vintage halloween stuff and this guy right here that was an absolute like mind-blowing score um so if you want to stick around to the end i'll show you those two over here first all right so uh little uh hand made thanksgiving turkey here um she was actually telling me this woman was delightful i had the best time talking to her and she was telling me that she actually handmade this um i don't know i don't know I don't know, which I'm sure was like hand painting, right? But either way, really cool vintage like turkey guy and it's all stained glass. So I, I picked him up. I think he was $3. You probably saw in the video, I got some cool vintage Halloween stuff here as well, including this awesome like 90s, uh, very neon monster mask. I kind of thought this was awesome. There's a tiny split down here in the plastic, but that is it. Uh, so I'll be taking photographs of that for sure. And then there was a bunch of uh, really cool pieces down here. I'm also going to show you, she gave me some tissue paper 
but we had a whole thing. I don't think I, I managed to get it on camera at all. Um, but she thought she had more vintage Halloween. And so me and another woman worked together to get it down off of the top of the like garage shelves. And it ended up being gift bags, which is totally fine. I'm glad that we could lend a hand. Um, but uh, she did give me some free like gift wrap for my trouble. And that was very kind of her. So I used that for Christmas. Um, so first thing, I paid a dollar for this entire bag, which, oh my God, I love this kind of stuff. All right, let me take you through. I think there is two of these black hinged cats and they're all made in the USA as well. It's the uh, Beastle company. I've sold from them multiple times, but yeah, they're all like hinged. I think he must be missing. No, he's not missing a tail. His tail is right here. There's a little bit of wear and stuff, but overall really cool. Um, we have this scarecrow guy who happens to still have his uh, corn or whatever next to him. So he was awesome. Another scarecrow guy where he's just like in front of the moon. Hinge skeleton guy, another black cat, and then ghosts with the castle was awesome. And then these two guys as well. I love these. Do not know if I'm selling these or keeping them because I just think they are so fantastic. <laughs> All right, these I think I will be selling, um, but they are vintage also, just a little bit larger. So we have the ghosts, we have the black cats, and then we have a bunch of different like pumpkin ones. So another black cat, little trick-or-treating bear pumpkins with the candy and then this giant pumpkin guy right here as well i will probably sell all of those as a lot um these over here i'm gonna have to think really really hard about because uh, i love it too much all right i also grabbed a whole bunch of cassettes okay so they were 50 cents a piece but i saw the potential for lots and i've been doing really well with lots of cassettes recently like you know rock and roll rap country that kind of thing and um, so i tried to pick anything that i thought might actually like go together fairly well some of the artists i'm familiar with some of them i am not so we i got a couple of these things like acdc because i always put them aside for when i find other things in the same genre same with kiss um and then we have so like a few of the insane clown posse um, we have some like, I think like R&B and stuff. We have some corn, Sublime, The Offspring. You know what I'm getting at here? I'm basically going to go ahead and make a pretty cool uh, lot here and see if anybody wants it. And I'll probably go ahead and auction those off. All right. Love it. <laughs> uh, so a vintage ghost story book. Oh my gosh. I just think it's cool. Um, so this was 1982. And there's since own oh, the Canterville Ghost. Oh my goodness. I grew up with a lot of these. This is, oh, the Mistress in Black. Well, okay. Anyway, so I'm probably going to read a couple of these. And then I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and sell it or if this is something that I'm going to have out as my like Halloween decor. I haven't really decided yet, like just with the spine showing or whatever. I'm a sucker for vintage Halloween, if you cannot tell. <laughs> all right, this yard sale, all I found was this bowl but i thought it was cool it's actually it i paid three dollars for it and it's actually a uh, solid teak wood um and these can be really expensive and i've sold a lot of teak wood like um bowls serving bowls all kinds of different sizes and styles and i imagine this would maybe be a fruit bowl or a salad bowl um but they've always sold well for me sometimes like 35 to 50 dollars just depending on the piece and the condition so for three dollars i definitely decided to pick this one up all right and then if you're still hanging in there i'm just going to go through this really quickly and show you what all i picked up at this rummage cell that i didn't quite manage to film so vintage clown costume yes please perfect time of year has the little hat and the pom-poms and all the good stuff so that's already listed with um, some watches i also found this guy here uh, so he is vintage from the 90s he is easter unlimited and um fun world everyone that i saw who had him called him like the uh, scream spoof mask i don't know if that's his actual name um but we have the mask with the hood and then we also have like the full bodied costume as well he's listed already as well um few little books here where i just kind of like really liked the spines of them i may use these as decor i may end up just re-donating those uh if you didn't know we're redecorating a house right now that's why i'm picking up so many items potentially for my home because i love to thrift things uh they go in our home rather than buy them new what can i say so this was a brand new notebook basically i think the last one sold on ebay for like seven $17. All right. And then we have some dishes and some mugs. So these are actually Tempoware by Lennox. Um, so vintage Lennox. And I got a whole load of it. So I think I have six of the little coffee mugs. I'm probably going to part it out, I have to say. And then I've got the little sort of side plates. And then a 
unfortunately the dinner plates really do show quite a lot of wear so i'm probably not going to end up selling those in that condition they'll probably be redonated but i bought it as like a full lot um, and i'll show you the rest of it right over here as well and um, so yes yeah, same with the dinner plates here um we have some of the little sauces that actually go i guess with the mugs it looks like i have maybe like a casserole dish or something under here i can't quite see and then we have another little dish here like for cooking and on those the print is really bright uh, so i will be selling those pieces and i paid three dollars total for all of the lennox plates which is an absolute steal um okay so we have a vintage hat that definitely needs to go through the wash made in taiwan it's just a usa like spell out one i'll save that one for last and just show you real quick what i picked up in here so vintage ll bean made in thailand it's just a red a button down shirt jacket jacket whatever you want to call it but it has all this wonderful like plaid flannel lining so perfect for the season i have one um wool pencil skirt that is joseph ribkoff another vintage ll bean piece this is just like a pullover i don't know, like a raincoat like a hooded jacket but of course you just have a little mark right here i'm going to try and get it out it was filler bag i think i spent 20 dollars total on everything um so i decided to give this one a chance and see if i could clean it up completely random uh quacker factory print don't know anything about this it has bears and cats and beehives and I, I don't know but quacker factory does quite well so i went ahead and grabbed that i have a two piece here where it is a skirt and a jacket and the brand is fresh produce and this is a that is definitely their older tag um, and this is like an older style piece it's all corduroy it's like a sort of like nub shirt i suppose and um, i usually try and only pick up the prints like the seaside or like really bright prints in fresh produce but since it was a two-piece set i decided to give that one a try all right we have a all right we have an ugly christmas sweater if that's what you want to call it that's just the keywords that i use i don't think they're ugly i think they're fabulous and um, these always sell like hotcakes for me around this time of year and my last find it was my absolute favorite find of the day can't believe it was sat there paid a dollar for it basically when everything was parted out is this waxed barber jacket uh these retail for like three to four hundred dollars these are such expensive jackets men's size extra large and um, it has like all the waxed effects on the front kind of like a barn jacket um there it is marked down there as well there's one little like kind of scuff hole like you see like down here there's well there's a couple of little little in flaws or whatever i am not worried about that one single bit because I still think I'll be able to get a good $75 to $100 for this coat. Woo! All right. Thank you, you guys, for coming along with me to today's yard sales. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you want to come along with me to more yard sales, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. As usual, if you want to come hang out on my Facebook group, the link is down below, Thrift Nice. We're a friendly bunch and you're more than welcome to come and ask all your reseller questions. And lastly, if you're on the hunt for any fun reseller or thrifting-themed merchandise like masks t-shirts hoodies bags anything like that you're very welcome to check out my teespring store that's linked down below as well all right you guys i will catch you in the next one bye